It's interesting to note that Rab Nelson was born on Tu Bishvat, which is Miloy Halavana. On the 15th of the month is when the moon, full moon, which represents the Malchus Bishlemus. And we always say that the student represents Malchus. The rabbi is the sun, the student is the moon. The rabbi is the one who's beaming light, the student is the one whose mission is to receive the light, like the moon receives and reflects the light of the sun. So Rav Nosenzal's birthday was Tu Bishvat, and his yard site is Asora Beteves, which is also the yard site of Ezra Hasoifer, one of the greatest tzaddikim of all time. He wrote a Sefer Torah, which was perfect, and when they wrote new Sefer Torah, they wanted to check it. They would check it against the Sefer Torah of, of Ezra Sefer. We know that Rav Nosenzal's mission was that he was the Sefer, he was the scribe for Rav Nosenzal. Rav Nosenzal said, were it not for him, not one page of my shurim would have remained. Not only did he do that, but he took it further. He expanded Rav Nosenzal's teachings. He took the Likut Imran, which is about 400 pages, and wrote a Likut Halachas, which is 4,000 pages, expounding and clarifying and beautifying Rav Nezal's teachings. Rav Nezal said during his lifetime that if anybody's going to want to come to me, I'll see you in Oman. I'll be by Rav Nezal. However, if anybody will come to my kever, I'll do them a favor. If you want to be able to know the tzaddik, it's through his people, through his students. And in Breslov especially, those that are looking for an authentic, authoritative understanding of Rabbi Nezal can only get it through the eyes of Rabbi Nezal. Hashem should give us the privilege to continue learning together until Moshiach comes and afterwards and to, to draw all the benefits that can be gotten from Rabbi Nezal and from his connection to Rabbi Nezal. Amen. Can you with someone? Thank you, Rabbi Nezal. Wonderful day to all. The Surah's Tavos.